What's up guys, Key Michael here, professional volleyball player turned vlogumentary filmmaker. Vlogumentary, I feel like that's just the perfect word to describe what we're doing here. We're diving into the lives of professional volleyball players, we're trying to tell a compelling score, we're trying to tell a compelling story, add a little bit of spicy b-roll here and there, show the human behind the jersey, but at the same time, it's kind of vlog style, I mean, it's literally just me at the end of the day. There's no production company here. Little old me with my DSLR camera following around my friends. By the way, thank you girls for your patience and your kindness <laughs> and allowing us to show your life to the world. And this week I have been basking in the sun in the glorious south of France in Le Canet with a first year professional player straight out of University of Oregon, middle blocker, Veronica Stone. <laughs> and if you want to see her life, her training, her apartment, etc., I will link that video here. So basically, Le Canet is a suburb right outside of Cannes. It's literally boop, five minute drive. And I'm sure you guys have heard of Cannes. It's very glamorous, very well known for the film festival, for the beaches, for the stars, for the yachts, etc. But if you say you play in Le Canet, you're basically playing Cannes because it's so close. You just wore in a different jersey. <laughs> and speaking of jerseys, Le Canet was acquired by Volero Zurich, which has always been a powerhouse in women's volleyball in Europe for many, many years. So Le Canet is also rocking the iconic purple and gold jersey, which is kind of cool. And I was lucky enough to catch a match while I was here, a home match, Le Canet versus Nancy, and the girls played awesome, high level volleyball, but the crowd was pretty weak sauce. I mean, there was maybe a hundred people there. I could kind of hear crickets, the little the little golf clap. Yeah, I don't know why South France can't get around professional women's volleyball. Boggles my mind, but it's a fact. And I'm so curious what it's like for Veronica because she came from this program at Oregon where I'm sure she was playing in front of thousands of people, super intense home crowd, and then coming here and experiencing this. What is it like? How does that change your play, if at all? It just must be so bizarre. So I was really excited to sit down with Veronica and talk to her about her experiences, her impressions of life as a pro having only been here two weeks. First of all, she admitted to me that she packed her luggage with like five kilos of soaps and shampoos and body lotions as if they don't have shampoo in France as you had to pay excess weight charges for a luggage. So any first year professionals coming over from the States, please listen to this podcast because that was just one nugget of wisdom, but she had many, many more. Here's just a little snippet of our conversation for the episode of The Volley Bubble. How do you see social media? I've heard both sides where the people that hate social media and the people that absolutely love it. I love it. I think it's so funny. People get to express themselves, say what's on their mind, yeah. reach thousands of people and like sometimes millions of people um, just by their content or by something that they feel really strongly about. So I think it's a really cool way to express yourself and as athletes, like to have fans that only know you as an athlete, for you, for athletes that use it, like, cause I know some people use it just for like their professional use, they're only posting their sports stuff right. and it's only like updates on games and sponsorships and stuff. and. Like for other people, it's a way to like show who they are outside of their sport, and I think that's really cool. And I like I was a journalism major, and like I've always wanted to be in sports. And my big thing was always wanting to know like who are you outside of an athlete. Like yeah, yes. you're a great you're a great athlete. Like everyone knows that. Like I can Google your stats, but like what do you like to do? Like what do you do? Do you like even if you don't do anything? Like what does nothing look like for you? Like I don't know. Yes. Totally. People have personalities and people like to talk about themselves. If you're in, I don't believe in shy people. I know that's like weird, but I feel like everyone likes to speak if someone gives them a chance to let them talk about what they like or shows interest in them. It's literally, I feel like you just read my mind there as you were saying that athletes are more than just their stats, more than the, just mm -hmm. their, it's not just a robot in a jersey. You know, you, you obviously it's someone who's worked really hard in their craft to to get to a certain level. But the interesting thing to me is, yeah, exactly that. What do you do in your free time? What makes you ex excited? What what are your passions? What are your hobbies? Who are you yeah. as a human? So I love that you said that. <laughs> and that's what this whole podcast is about. <laughs> you guys, Ronnie had such amazing energy and I think she had a smile on her face pretty much the whole time that I saw her this week. 
that might be the key to a successful, long and successful career in volleyball or in anything in life, just not taking it too seriously. So I highly suggest you guys go and follow her on Instagram, on TikTok, on all the socials, because she's very open about her life here in France and she's entertaining and a bundle of sunshine as well. I don't even have a TikTok account and I was considering getting one to follow you, Ronnie, so I feel old. <laughs> so a huge thank you to the staff, the players, the coaches from Le Canet for welcoming me this week, welcoming me into your bubble. And also to my friend Luna Moreno, thank you so much. If you guys are watching this in French subtitles, it's because of the hard work that she put in. So thank you so much. And you guys, let me know in the comments who you want to see on an upcoming episode of the Volley Bubble, or just come up to me after the game, like one of the players from Nancy to make your requests. That was very funny, <laughs> but I'm guessing that you guys don't live in the south of France, or maybe you do. I don't know. I don't know who you are uh, or where you're watching this from, but let me know who you'd like to see on this series. Hit like if you got anything out of this video. Hit subscribe if you like volleyball. Hit the bell if you want to be in the bubble, and I'll see you guys in the next one.